I'm George Foster Ryans, and I have been lowered by the Brooks County School Board of Education. After sitting in and attending this Board of Elections meeting, I kind of understand now, I guess, why Brooks County elected officials seem to not want the general public to address the Brooks County School Board of Education. It is said that in 2012, the operations of the Brooks County Board of Elections could be so dysfunctional in the eyes of the general public it's really calls the question, what is going on in Brooks County and in the city of Quitman among the so-called elected officials of high standards? It's, 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 it's just unimaginable. But be that as it may, I just want to say that I'm hoping that the citizens of Brooks County will take a strong stand for what is right. And I, along with others, realize that there are educators in the Brooks County school system who know what's going on, both black and white, and they want to see change. But because they understand that they have a job, family, children to provide for, they are living in fear. And the sad thing about it, there are a few people who sit among us, but who are not of us. We also understand there are white, right people who want to talk. And they do talk behind the closed doors and they tell us things that we will never know. Be that as it may. But I cannot value my presence in being in Brooks County July the 17th to witness the real mindset of a group of people that, well, Governor Nathan Deal and others don't think that things are not going to change in Quitman and Brooks County. Change must come because somewhere I read only truth will set us free. You cannot suppress truth and regardless what a select few does, in the end, the voices of the people will be heard. And I will be able to address the Brooks County Board of Education. And all other citizens throughout Brooks County will feel welcome. Welcome. Welcome to this public meeting instead of feeling like a, well, feeling like they're coming to address the leaders of some foreign communist nation. You can feel the tension whenever you attend these meetings, and it should not be that way, especially when it comes to the education of our children and our right to vote, which many black and white people suffer, bled, and died to acquire for all Americans, and especially women. Yeah, white women. We hit the streets, and they hit the voting booths, and even in getting contracts, Blacks, I'm talking about on the hood and urban development. Blacks help them. And we want to thank that the, 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 the continuous support that we get from even whites who cannot speak openly. But change is going to come. This isn't it. Bye-bye.